Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shop, bringing you part two of my Saints Gun Why Off Trio Week. I'm not even sure I said the name in the first video, but if you didn't see that first video, make sure that you do. I will pop that up right now. Hopefully, I'll put the link in the description below. To me, that is the best play in the game. It can dominate anything any defense any opponent uh just the first play i put out alone it, there's it I, and i'll show it to you again as i'm talking about it but like i said you got to go watch the video i'm not gonna go over it again but the pa post dig shot right there is the one play you need in your playbook because it will end all that cover four cheese it will beat cover three it beats prevent for christ's sake so uh, I, I can't push that enough it is the best play in the game um, other than that let's go and let's move on to the next series of plays uh, um, this is part two there's not going to be a part three uh, but if you want to hit the like button, hook me up anyway, I'd appreciate that. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's go with the first play uh, that I, I really think um, is an underrated gem, the Saints Cross. Well, we'll pick that. Then on defense, we'll just keep going random nickel. That's what we did in the first game. Yeah, so this play right here, you have a couple different options. I don't really think the running back coming out uh, would be, you know, too advantageous. I think that the best way to go is either um, putting uh, Fleener here on a slant uh, or, you know, I, I think that... Um, you know he has a check and release pattern which isn't too bad uh it'll come over kind of late uh, but uh it's uh it'll, it's definitely i've run one time like this um as you can see there uh but that was actually a pretty good reaction by kukli most linebackers won't even pay attention to that when he starts blocking uh but a good play either way so I, I, the only thing i really think is you need the pass protection take ingram out of what he's doing uh and it's a pretty good play just like this you're gonna see how like i said there you can see how they don't pay attention to him he's just a really good uh route into the flats Uh, but I think it's also a good thing to put him on a drag, um, you know, because you're going to see how he plays off of the R1 route. Uh, pull coverage down, and then by the time the R1 route clears that, you can see how he's got a window uh, behind the linebackers. Yeah, if they're pressing like this, this looks like it's a cover one or a cover, uh, cover three. Thomas should be a really good play. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can get him open up top. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lob it up to my man out there. Nice catch and run. That's a really hard to press route right there. I actually don't think you can press that route. You can see how he starts that route off um, kind of going outside. Uh, that's another scenario where if I had a faster receiver doing it like Gannon, he probably would have been gone. He got caught there, uh, but it is what it is. Another thing you can do here, cover three, which is what this looks like. Put Fleener on a fade. Put Thomas on a drag. Uh, you're going to see how um, the X route's pretty good. Here, I'll go ahead and I'll take the check down. As you can see, uh, that's a good play by Cookley. Um, but like I said, people don't really people don't really press like that. You could do this too. I mean, that's a good cover three seam beater, uh, which is what this looks like. So we're just gonna keep beating up on those cover three seams right there. Still think it's best to just keep them as a blocker, but hey, you have options. So R one, here we go, man coverage. Anytime it's a man coverage, that's gonna be a nasty man beater right there. That route in particular. I haven't been doing the full audible adjustments because I've just basically been doing the ones that I see. Um, but, you know, if you don't know exactly what you're looking at, then you probably shouldn't do that. There's another cover three. So we're just going to keep going to Fleener. But, yeah, I know pre-snap. Like, this year, I know Fleener's probably going to work. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead. Fuck. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I know reading the defense as well enough that I have a pretty good idea what's going to be open pre-snap. So I don't always do all the adjustments, but um, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Like I said, I, I like I like doing. I think Gin here is probably going to be a good, a good look. I'm not sure I mentioned that, um, but he's just got the late developing check down. If you put him on an in route when you drag the tight end, so we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next play. Yeah, next up I'll show a run play just because you want to keep balance. It's a halfback base, nothing really crazy here, uh, but you definitely want to keep balance in your offense um, because a lot of times you'll see some crazy looks based off people trying to stop that first play. So let's go and let's pick that. Yeah, no real adjustments here, just a really good run concept. Um, as you can see, um, you know, there's a nice lane there. Basically, your opponent um, might be um, worried to an extent with all the deep passing. So if you hit your opponent with something like this, they might be usering deep. They might be playing as a safety, trying to user that route, um, and you can hit them with this. So if you notice, they start backing up early with uh, with a user linebacker, and it's just a really good time to hit them with this uh, with this run. And this run play is actually in the audibles uh, right there, the halfback base, right on the second one. So if you're using the Saints playbook, it's right there for you, uh, which is nice. Uh, there, I didn't really make the best read, but it's all good. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just, you know, like I said, just pay attention to where your opponent's doing the other side of the ball. You can take it wide here for a big play. You can take it up the middle there for a big play. 
Here's a really good run play, really consistent run play. You can see how that first play is going to set it up. So uh, we can actually, oh man, if I just faster guy, I'd probably been going there. So we'll go ahead and move on. Yeah, the last play I'm going to do is the uh, halfback slip screen. This is probably going to be one of the few plays that do a motion. We'll go ahead and pick that, and we'll go random nickel. This play right here, all I really want to do is motion Fleener over, and then I want to snap it so that he basically, um, he's basically getting attention to the opponent. You can see how the, the, the screen play there is wide open. Yeah, Fleener is really just to get the attention of the user middle linebacker, uh, but he also, if you snap him before he gets outside the tackle box, he also turns into a blocker, uh, which is nice. So there's really two ways to do it. I think motioning him over to being a blocker, like I said, you do it before he leaves the left tackle area, um, it's probably going to just give you a little bit more time to make your decision in the passing game. Uh, as you can see, I got a nice juke from Ingram. Nice play. Another thing you can do, and this is another really good option, is, is move Coleman in. And you're going to see how Fleener gets open quicker than the uh, the running back uh, because of that. As you see, he's right out in the flat there. Um, that tight spacing just really messes with the computer AI. So it's really up to you. Uh, you can't move Coleman all the way over, um, but this is a pretty good option. So now you have really good uh, instant open plays on both sides uh, between the tight end and the running back. It looks like we're going to house this. We're going to house this with a, with a relatively fast tight end, but still a tight end. We still like 84 speed. So kind of glitchy. Uh, the way that you, you know, when you have a, like a stack or a tight concept like this, it's a little on the glitchy side. We're going to do it again. Um, there was a nice, well, that was a cover too, so we actually sat on it. But we still got it. But it's such an instant open play. So really a couple different ways you want to do this. Um, I don't really have plays that really only have one. You know one way to do them uh, but there you go that's a nice play but I do like if I'm going screen if you're a screen heavy person you like doing screens just do this and you'll have a little bit better pass blocking so till your uh, your screen sets up um, it's just it's a mo the motion uh, blocking glitch is pretty good yeah most screen passes you're kind of just under fire like right away so if you do this um, you're gonna have you know you see how you just have a lot of extra time to get that ball out. I, mean, I still had to do my face, but it was not as fast as it normally is. That tight end will definitely act as a nice blocker. You can do it at any point. You just kind of want to aim it towards who you think is going to be the guy coming in. Nice catch, man. Nice run, you slow bum. Should have had Kamora out there. So we'll go ahead and run it one more time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I think this, this looks like a man. I don't know what it is. We're going to go ahead and we're gonna get out to that tight end again. And look at them. Look at them blocks. Look at them blocks. Oh, man. We suction them in there. All right, so that's it. We're going to move on. Now this formation does have a corner strike. Um, it also has a halfback trap though. The halfback trap would play off that last play really nice. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. But the corner strike, I'm not going to show the corner strike. That's the really, it, it's run as is. There's there's no, you just kind of take the high or the low. It's a really popular, um, maybe I'll show it next. But we're going to do the halfback trap first. Halfback counter trap. All I really want to do here is just motion block Fleener again. Um, which is, you know. He's just going to get to that second level on the side that I need him. And it just plays off that, that screenplay, basically. I'm not saying this is the best play in the world, but it's a good run play to play off of that. Um, as you can see here, you can, it's kind of hard to tell what he's going to do. Like, there he blocked nobody. Sometimes he'll do that. Sometimes he'll block somebody. Sometimes he won't. So I find you can, you can you know, motion him. You can snap him whenever you want. I find that he does a little bit better when he's in that gap. As you can see, he kind of gets up in the middle and takes the next level guy. And I guess the last thing I'll show will be that corner strike, if you guys don't know it already. I've shown it a couple times, but for people that don't, we'll go ahead. It's real simple. You got a high and low. You got your X, you got your circle. They're, running, they're actually running into each other pretty good there. But you can see how one of them is going to be open against just about every coverage. You have a high low on both sides, but I would say cut the field in half and just work one side. The R1 route's pretty good, too, as a check down. As you can see, he's working one-on-one -on -one with the middle linebacker. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll keep working this. This uh, that's I was a single high man, and that's really hard for man coverage to beat. I would say this this type of play is best against man coverage and cover three, but it's also really good against cover two. As you can see here, I'm not even sure what that was, but you can see there. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. No, <laughs> almost. You're slow, but the high low gives cover two issues, and this looks like a cover three. I'd say put Coleman on one of these, but uh, the high low gives cover three issues, and the uh, the circle route gives cover one. And uh, and single high uh, or, co or man coverage a lot of problems. I really tried to throw that ball earlier in the route, but my right my right tackle got pushed into me. So, all right, so that's it. That's a real simple play. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on. We're gonna end the video.
Alright, so that's it. If you guys want to see more saints, do me a favor to like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.